Hi, Yavid. So let's take a look at what you wrote today, shall we? Uh, weddings. Uh, spending lots of money on them. Here, let's see what you said. The tendency of spending a considerable amount of money on the wedding ceremonies has gained huge popularity over the last few decades. Although weddings are an indispensable part of the family journey, spending a great deal of, uh, you don't say budget, uh, sp spending a large budget on them, you could have said, or spending a great deal of one's savings that also would have been okay could bring about financial consequences this essay will briefly discuss the importance of weddings and disadvantages of unnecessary spendings on the wedding parties okay uh so what i'm missing here from this introduction is your answer to the question, do the benefits outweigh the disadvantages? Because the way you phrased your introduction, it's as if, um, it's as if you're going to basically give me a balanced essay and possibly tell me at the end, but that's not what the essay has asked you. They've asked you quite clearly, which is stronger, the benefits or the disadvantages. And so that's something you should absolutely answer in your introduction. Okay, so moving on. On the one hand, it should be acknowledged that an extraordinary wedding ceremony is favorable for the emotional health of the new families. This is largely because by spending a lot of money, wedding days could be made unforgettable for couples. The couples commencing their official family journey with such positive vibes could easily maintain healthy and strong, mm, a healthy and strong family relationship. In fact, recent World Health Organization studies have shown that expensive weddings might strengthen family ties in young families thanks to their positive emotional impact weddings there okay so therefore it is reasonable aiming for exceptional mm, it is reasonable to aim for exceptional wedding ceremonies okay fair enough good on the other hand a substantial amount mm, a substantial expenditure or i don't even know if i like this word here uh, you could say substantial expenditures. That would work much better, I think. Let's try that again from the beginning. On the other hand, substantial expenditures on weddings could impose additional financial burdens, plural, on young families. Uh, the central reason behind this argument is that usually couples take a loan from banks or borrow money from their relatives in order to conduct a unique wedding experience. However, these actions, T-H-E-S-E, later lead to frustration as families struggle to meet their financial needs as well as pay debts. For instance, young families in most development countries start with financial disadvantages due to overspending on a wedding mm, on wedding details without the a, uh, such as a venue, photo session, and so on. Thus, it is possible to stay beyond doubt that spending a lot of money on weddings cannot be justified should families undermine their financial circumstances. Okay, um... Tricky grammar. You did it successfully. I have to admit, I stopped for a second. Um, but you did it successfully. Um, I still have a question mark in my head. I'm wondering, even though you did it and it worked, uh, let's try it differently, shall we? So, uh, thus it is possible to state beyond doubt that should families uh, undermine their financial circumstances, uh, spending a lot of money on weddings cannot be justified. Maybe that makes it clearer, but it's fine. I mean, it's it's okay. To conclude, while turning weddings into a memorable part of life is crucial for healthy relationships, it is more important to secure financial conditions of young families by investing wisely on family essentials. Therefore, I believe the cons of spending too much money on weddings are greater than the pros. Okay, great. Now it's clear. But this is going to cost you because it's not clear from the beginning of your essay. Okay? Okay, and just to give you an idea of what I am referring to, um, I've brought up the band descriptors. This is, of course, the public version. Um, so that you can see what is being considered here. Okay, so task achievement, band 7. It says, presents a clear position throughout the response. What does throughout mean? It means from the beginning to the end. How do you make your position clear from the beginning? By sa saying it in the introduction, okay? That's why I insist on this kind of thing. Okay, on the whole, however, a nice job. So let's now look at your second essay. Okay, here it is. Oops, no, here it isn't. Let's try it again. Here it is, the cover letter. Let's see what you wrote. Dear sir, I am writing in response to a job opening for an artificial intelligence engineer on your website this. 
I would like to inform you about my achievements in the field of AI. First of all, I have a bachelor's degree. Well, you can't have a degree and a diploma. So just say I have a bachelor's. Bachelor's, usually see it with an apostrophe S. So bachelor's degree in computer science from Stanford University. In addition to that, I have been awarded with certifications in machine learning thanks to my contribution to open source community in different areas such as speech recognition and self-driving cars. I am a highly enthusiastic specialist with proficiency in math as well as in computers. Perhaps I cannot express how passionate and energetic I am uh, working for the job that entails AI-related challenges. I strongly believe that with this energy and passion, I can create value for your company and be a team player. Okay. Um, this was awkward for me. I cannot express how passionate and energetic I am working for the job that entails... Okay, let, we have to fix that second part a little bit. So... Let's get rid of perhaps, because it just felt a little strange, and then say, I cannot express how passionate and energetic I am uh, to work in a job that entails AI-related challenges. Then it's perfect. I strongly believe that with this energy and passion, I can create value for your company and be a, a team player, not an. I've been working as a senior ML engineer for one of the uh, most renowned, not just plain old renowned, but the most renowned, Startup companies for four years now. Over the course of these years, I have been dealing with cutting-edge technologies to, to what? No, revolutionize? Maybe. To provide solutions to? Maybe. But I don't know. I hope with this cover letter, I will be able to convey my strong desire to work for your company in the near future. I look forward to hearing from you. Yours faithfully, Arnie Sly. All right. Great absolutely very good um absolutely developed um let me tell you what i liked did you talk about your qualifications yes you did did you talk about your past experience uh yes you did could you've gone into it a little more yeah maybe a little bit you could have that last part this little paragraph here but what you did that I really liked is that you successfully handled this. And this is where most people have difficulty with this, your energy and enthusiasm for the job. You did it. Yeah, there was a little bit of awkwardness, but I almost don't really mind because the rest of it was exactly what it was supposed to be. You showed energy. You showed enthusiasm. And like I said, that's the part most people have a problem with. So good job there. Okay. Um, let's see what else I want to talk to you about. I covered all of the grammar stuff. I covered all the vocabulary stuff, I think. Um, there were those couple of areas that were a little strange in terms of the syntax, in terms of the way you phrase stuff. But on the whole, I liked it. Okay, so um, that's it. I want you to correct them, send them back to us, um, add to your error correction list, and of course, write another set. Okay, so go ahead and do that, and I'll be waiting. Good luck to you.